beautiful people welcome and welcome back my name is Deandra if you are new here this is a tag that is so late I was tagged last year around five months ago first by Lo Ye Ye and then by India from bags and lifestyles but honestly I don't know why I took this tag very personally and it's really a mind over matter thing really to be honest because as you can see from the thumbnail I've realized that my power color is green it was really a great analysis this tag to see what color do I gravitate to most and it is green and I took that so personally because I was thinking the wicked witch of the west I don't know I was just thinking like you know green is jealousy and greedy and all that horrible things and I'm just like what does that mean for me what does that say about myself I and as I said this is all up in my mind I took it very personally but now it's been some time it's a new year and for some reason it's St. Patrick's Day right and now I have a new output and thought process about this color green and I was like okay I'm going to do the tag now because I feel a bit more comfortable for some reason I just I just couldn't look past the whole Wicked Witch of the West I really couldn't I just couldn't really look past that at all and now I can think of lucky leprechauns four leaf clovers all that lovely stuff so in the spirit of St. Patrick's Day it's also my father's birthday as well I'm showing you all of my green handbags and honestly I have seven of them that is a good amount I did not realize I had that much but as I said these tags I personally feel these tags make you analyze your choices and what you gravitate to and honestly some of them I have used some of them I have not used at all so let's go with the smallest one shall we of course my Kurt Geiger wallet on chain in this quilted leather I've this is in my quilted video if you have not seen it I'll link it down below it has ample space honestly I use this from time to time this was my first quilted bag I I love this bag the quality on this bag is superb to be honest I'm actually thinking of getting this bag in a denim version denim is all the rave right now but listen I know this bag works for me and the uh, coach denim does not float my boat at all it does not appeal to me I know it appeals to many people I've seen the YouTube videos but honestly is not my cup of tea so I'm thinking of getting the denim version to this so this cult guy purchase, oh, I love it. I do. I love it a lot. It is a jade acrylic um, clutch. There is no crossbody strap, no nothing. You literally hold it like this. But let me tell you, once you put stuff in it, it is rock solid hard. It is heavy. It is everything in a nutshell, but it's so damn cute. Honestly, cult guy does really unique bags particularly clutches I really like them for clutches and I have three of them and honestly I don't know what to do with myself with this one because I, I honestly I need to wear her if I don't wear her but I'm giving myself time if I don't wear her it's gonna be a problem but listen it's gonna be a hard one to let go because it is stinking cute look at that it is so stinking cute oh I can't even get over it. All right, next, of course, you have seen this one before. This Olive Beauty from Aspinall of London. Of course, it's good to have a nice olive neutral in your closet. I think it's a really good neutral. Um, some people may not think so, but I think it's one of the muted colors, and I don't think you would be upset with this one at all. <laughs> yes, so there goes Aspinall. I think I did a video on this. Yes, I did a video that included this bag i don't remember the name of it but it is from reese this is a suede leather bag i love it to pieces i've tried to wear her i really have but it's just i think i will i think over the springtime this year i think i will be able to wear it with my trench coats i think it can it can work you can wear it as a crossbody and a shoulder bag i think it's a win-win come on now it's it's a win-win next is this brandon blackwood beauty this is the medium cara in this boston shape i have a boston bag comparison video where i just compare a whole bunch of different brands that have the same shape and how 
they fair out. Honestly, I love the color of this bag. And I also love the texture. Look at this. I think they were trying to mimic or it is ostrich leather. I don't remember. Um, but it is stinking gorgeous. And it has a really strong leather smell. Very, very strong. Um, not to the point where it seems fake. It's just rich. I, I don't know where they source this leather from, but it is beautiful. This is a really good neutral, but a sh good pop of color. I wear this and the Kurt Geiger wallet on chain. They're kind of close in color scheme. I wear them a lot with black. And honestly, although it's a new show, this pop of color just screams. It's the perfect addition and I love it. So yes, <sighs> my next Kirk, uh, my next green bag, which I've worn a good amount of times, to be honest. All right, so next is this Givenchy Mini Antigona in this mint color. If you have not seen my luxury video, you um, will see a little bit more detailed analysis of this. I love this bag. Have not worn it yet. This is one of the few that I have not worn yet, but I think this year that may be changing. So stay tuned about that. But as you can see, it packs a punch. It's almost like a Boston bag shape in a sense, I think at least. And it does have the crossbody strap. I love this color so much. All right, lastly is this beauty here. I can't get enough of this bag. If you don't know about Tori Sudan, I'm gonna link down all the videos that I've done about this brand because they are a wonderful black owned brand that does really good bags. And they're most, they're mainly a shoe brand to be honest, but they have ventured out into bags. And honestly, this gives me Chanel vibes. The tote, Chanel totes that they have, oh, this gives me the Chanel vibes through and through. And this is what I wanted. I wanted a classy tote when I wanted not to compromise on what I'm bringing. And I still want to look cute at the same time. Perhaps you have a special function that you're going to. Oh, this is the bag that I would be carrying. I do want a classy tote in like a black color and they did have it in black. I just wanted green. Green was calling my name and I got it. Honestly, I have not worn it yet because it was stored away in its box and I was not seeing it. Plus it is a classy tote. So this is not something I'm going to be wearing every day. I'm just gonna be honest with you. So if this is your vibe every day, then it would be applicable and you would have a lot of use out of it. But I knew when I bought this, this was gonna be an occasional bag. So I'm not unhappy with the fact that I haven't worn it. But yes, this is the last one of the bunch. And I love all of these bags. Let me see if I can find a place to put it. So these are the bags that I have in varying shades of green and also textures, I believe. You have some plastic, some suede, and some quilting. I love these bags. I think, honestly, why I gravitate towards the color so much is because, honestly, for even the green bags that I do wear consistently, they add so much to an outfit. They, they just... They look juicy. They just give what they're supposed to give. Out of every single color, even my neutrals, I don't think, at least it's in my head, I don't think they give the oomph like a green bag does, to be honest. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm sorry for how long this took to do. And honestly, as I said, I just had to get over that mental block. And I hope you guys are enjoying your St. Patrick's Day and however which way you choose to enjoy it. I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are. And as always, have a good one. Bye.